So my friend Michael has a 1994 Ford Explorer. It's a XLT, a red XLT. And he wants to paint his grill. He wants to paint it black. But unfortunately, the type of grill he has uh, has the chrome around it. And uh, if you paint over that, it's just going to... Even if it's just shitty chrome, it's, it's just going to peel right off. So, What we did is we went to the U-Pullet. We found a white limited there. And we took the bumper. We were going to take the headlight lenses or the side marker lights, but unfortunately the uh, bezel on the driver's side was, or passenger side was cracked, so we're going to have to uh, do a little bit of wire wheeling on that plastic just to get that chrome off. Uh, but at least we don't have to do it on the grill. And part of his grill was cracked. This is a different style grill, but there's part that was cracked and didn't look very good, so we wouldn't be able to, be able to paint it. This one has a crack. Uh, somewhere else, where was it? which way it goes. I think it was like this. Yeah, there's a crack at the bottom. That's how it goes. A little crack there, but we can uh, hot glue that together. And to take the emblems off, it is, what was it, a 10 millimeter? Yeah. 10 millimeter to get these little shitty nuts off. You can take your little Ford emblem off. I actually told him I was going to try and find a shop that, see if we can find a shop that makes custom emblems. I was thinking, have him make another one like, just like this, but have it say Kong. That's his last name. Have him put it as Kong in this font. Kind of personalize his car, you know. Anyways, let's go ahead and clean this bitch up. So I went ahead and blasted it off with the, uh, little some bitch here and maybe I'll hit it again blasted the backside got a lot of the dirt off just get as much as he can got some soap here and some water using dish drops and it's not really Amway it's just we've had that bottle for years we just refill it with like Dawn or whatever but Some weird shit right here. I'll go ahead and finish doing this, and now I'll show you the finished product when she's all nice and painted. Now I'm gonna let it sun bake just for about maybe 10 minutes, just so it can get nice and warm. And then I'll put a piece of board down right here, lay that over the board, and then we'll start painting it. Wow, she's getting there. That's starting to look nice. There, it's all painted out front and back. Shouldn't see any white. If, if so, I'll do a little touch up. But other than that, she's ready for uh, ready to start drying now. And once it's dry, we'll go ahead and put our Forda logo back on. It was kind of kind of nice to see it had a decent one on there. Well, holy shit! Got a can can and can or two of a Krylon gloss black. This looks nice. Oh, this explorer's gonna look nice with that grill. That looks so much better than the white. Kinda makes me want to get a an old uh, 94 and make it all black.